let's hear that again. Alternatively, this list can also be called the most paused moments in MLB. You're about to watch Pony.com and we're counting down our picks for the top 10 details in My Little Pony that you may have missed. So excited! For this list, we're looking back at seasons 1 through 6 and find all the little details most would need to help pointing out or things that can be easily missed. But we are not including background cameos of celebrities or characters. That is a list for another time. And we are not including animation errors. That list will also be a separate list later on. Just the little details that either reference something or are so well hidden, it makes a more invested story. If you have seen an entry you feel should be on the list but isn't, be sure to check out our similar list of the top 10 easter eggs in My Little Pony. And as always, one moment per episode. Number 10. Snips and Snails, Ponyville Confidential Let's start with something easy. Ever heard of the nursery rhyme, sugar and spice and everything nice are what little girls are made of? Lauren Faust is very aware of this. And in the episode of the Rowdy Rough Boys, Mojo Jojo says this. Let's see now. Snips and snails and a puppy dog tail. This is the second half of the nursery rhyme. The characters Snips and Snails pay homage to that with their boyish attitudes and the headline of Ponyville Confidential. I have our story. Snips and snails and bubblegum veils. Number 9. Scootaloo's wolf costume, One Bad Apple. We're aware of reusing props and costumes in MLP, from gala dresses to spell books. But do you remember where this wolf costume came from? Why so crude? Why so angry? Why so rude? The wolf costume that is seen in Bab Seed is actually from the episode Lunar Eclipsed, worn by Scootaloo. You can also see the other costumes from that episode too, like the Star Scroll the Bearded costume, the Witch Hat, and the Clown Wig. You don't want Nightmare Moon to gobble you up, do you? Number 8. 42. Fall Weather Friends Tomorrow's the annual running of the leaves. I challenge you to race me in it. The 8 worn by Applejack and the 11 worn by Rainbow Dash may be randomly selected numbers, and it would seem that the 42 on Twilight is random too, until Rainbow Dash says this. Would you read The Egghead's Guide to Running? This sounds very similar to the title of the book series The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. In that book, there was a computer that calculated the answer to life, the universe, and everything. And the answer was 42. 42. Funny that the egghead figured that one out. Number 7. Pinkie Pie's Gasp, Friendship is Magic, Part 1. Animation props and outfits aren't the only things reused in the show. Much like the squee, Pinkie Pie's gasp from the first episode can be heard again. But did you know it was also used by Mrs. Kate? Played backwards, it's actually the sound used for Fluttershy before her big yay. And so far, it seems to have been used six times already. Number 6. Crackle, Dragon's Quest We've heard Pinkie Pie's gasp reused, but did you know Crackle's voice is also a reused sound effect? I think he's Crackle's cousin. Ah! Oh, that would explain it. Let's hear that again. Ah! This is a pitch-shifted voice sample from Spike from the episode A Dog and a Pony Show. In fact, you could even hear it again in the same episode when Rarity and Rainbow Dash surprise Spike in Twilight. You guys, ah! At least that's one mystery of Crackle Solve. Oh, that would explain it. Number 5. South Park Hats. Thanks for the memories. If you follow horse news, this is no big surprise. But if you love ponies and the Comedy Central show South Park, you'll be glad to see they sneaked in a little detail. What are you looking at? 
You can see Eric Hartman's signature blue and yellow hat, Stan's blue and red hat, and Kyle's green hat on one of the beavers. Fun fact, Dave Polsky, who wrote for 15 episodes of MLP, also wrote for two South Park episodes back in the day. You shouldn't say something bad about something before you actually know what it's like. You might even end up liking it because it kicks ass. Number 4. Spin Gallop, the main attraction. If you are a bookworm, then you can possibly discover this one on your own. MLP writers are often genius with the names they give their characters, like Zephyr Breeze and the Hooffields and the McColts. Spengallop is actually a bonafide twist on the name Spengali from the George Du Maniere's 1895 novel Trilby. In that story, Spengali hypnotizes Trilby and transforms her into a talented singer, much like Spengallop did with Coloratura. Remnants of that boring little rah-rah I met back in Manhattan. I made you some pony! Number 3. Wilhelm Scream, Various Episodes this is the only exception to the one moment per episode rule. But that's because it is in so many episodes. Of yours. Quite possibly the most reused sample in MLP, the Wilhelm scream is a stock sound effect that has been used in over 360 movies and TV shows. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Wilhelm screams. <laughs> Beginning in 1951, this scream became popular after it was used in Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and Disney cartoons. And now it was used in ponies over 16 times. Number 2. Top Gun Picture Rarity Investigates Look at the birdie! In the episode Rarity Investigates, Rainbow Dash is explaining her innocence by telling her dream of flying with Wind Rider. There I was at the arena, flying with Wind Rider and the Wonderbolts, like I've always wanted to. But doesn't that seem familiar to this one scene from Top Gun? Watch the birdie! Jeez, I cracked myself up. Both scenes had the newer flyer going upside down over the other flyer, and even included taking a picture with a camera. Uh, never mind. Not helping. Well, that's great and all, but now we want Rainbow Dash with the Top Gun anthem. Number 1. Jump the Shark, Slice of Life. For those of you who don't know the term jump the shark, it refers to when a show or a movie does something in its story or in its characters that becomes so ridiculous it goes past its peak in quality or relevance. And Slice of Life does that. As if the bugbear out of nowhere wasn't enough, or Derpy meeting the doctor meeting the Big Lebowski ponies, and Octavia and Vinyl music blasting through town wasn't ridiculous enough, you can see for a split second a shark plushie lying on the floor while Vinyl and Octavia literally jump the shark. You guys noticed the shark? The show has officially jumped the shark. Literally, look, there's a shark. While we would also like to include the horse head group shot, we already included that on our previous list. Do you agree with our list? <laughs> what little detail made you pause the video? Let us know in the comment section below, but for more top 10s posted every week, be sure to subscribe and check out WatchPony.com for more. Thank you for watching, and you may now look away. You can't do this! Lad Main has left the building.